In this video, we will explore the differences between monorepo and multi-repo strategies for organizing your code. We'll compare these two approaches to help you understand which one might be the best fit for your projects. Let's dive in. Let's define each strategy. A monorepo is a single repository that contains multiple distinct projects with well-defined relationships. Key points include, all code lives in a single version control repository, projects may be related or unrelated, there's a shared build system and tooling, centralized dependency management and atomic commits across projects. In contrast, a multi-repo consists of multiple repositories, each containing a single project or a small group of tightly coupled projects. Key characteristics are, each project has its own repository, independent versioning and release cycles, project-specific build configurations, decentralized dependency management, and clear project boundaries and ownership. Let's visualize the structure of each approach. On the left, we have a monorepo structure. All projects, such as front-end, back-end, mobile API, admin, and analytics, reside within a single main repository. They share common libraries, components, build tools, and configuration. On the right, the multi-repo structure shows each project residing in its own separate repository. This includes front-end, back-end, mobile API, shared libraries, and analytics each existing independently. Let's explore the benefits of each approach. Monorepo advantages include simplified code sharing and reuse with direct imports. Atomic changes can be made across multiple projects, ensuring consistency. There's consistent tooling and standards across all projects. Dependency management is simplified with a single version policy. It facilitates easier refactoring across project boundaries. There is a single source of truth for the entire code base, and it provides a unified continuous integration and continuous delivery pipeline for all projects. Multi-repo advantages include clear ownership boundaries between teams and projects. Independent versioning and release cycles are allowed. The code bases are smaller, more focused and easier to understand. Build and test cycles are faster for individual projects. There's flexibility to use different technologies per project. There is a reduced risk of breaking changes affecting other projects, and it allows for better access control and security isolation. Now let's consider the challenges. Monorepo challenges include the repository size, which can grow very large, impacting clone times. Build times can become lengthy without proper tooling. It requires specialized tooling for efficient operation. Access control is more complex at the project level. Continuous integration and continuous delivery pipelines need to be optimized for incremental builds. There is potential for dependency hell with conflicting requirements and it has a higher learning curve for new team members. Multi-repo challenges include the difficulty in making atomic changes across multiple repositories. Dependency management becomes more complex. Code sharing requires publishing packages or submodules. Maintaining consistent tooling across repositories is a challenge. Refactoring across project boundaries is more difficult. Duplication of configuration and infrastructure code may occur and it needs a more complex continuous integration and continuous delivery setup across multiple repositories. When deciding between monorepo and multi-repo, consider the following factors. Team size and structure, larger teams with clear boundaries may benefit from multi-repo, while smaller teams with shared responsibilities often work better with monorepo. Project coupling, Tightly coupled projects with frequent cross-project changes work better in monorepo. Loosely coupled projects can thrive in multi-repo. Release cycles, independent release schedules favor multi-repo. Coordinated releases across projects are easier with monorepo. Security and access control, fine-grained access control requirements favor multi-repo. Shared access patterns work well with monorepo. In conclusion, choose the approach based on your specific needs. Monorepo is best for teams working on tightly coupled projects with shared code, dependencies, 
coordinated releases, and centralized tooling and standards. Success strategies for Monorepo include investing in proper tooling from the start, documenting repository structure and workflows, establishing clear ownership boundaries, and implementing automated testing and continuous integration and continuous delivery. Multirepo is best for independent teams and projects with diverse technology stacks, fine-grained access control, and independent release cycles. Common pitfalls include choosing based on trends and not needs, underestimating tooling requirements, neglecting documentation, and failing to establish clear workflows. Consider hybrid approaches where organizations successfully implement hybrid strategies, using monorepos for related projects and multi-repos for independent systems. The best approach is often a pragmatic combination tailored to your specific needs. If you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Visit codelucky.com for more such useful content.